Good evening and thanks for joining us for NBC 16 News at 630. I'm Megan Shin. A rough and tumble sport is taking over Lane County this weekend and fans have taken notice. Dexter's Rural Fire Department is asking for your vote and we often talk about decisions and resolutions coming out of the United Nations Security Council, but have you ever thought about what the Security Council is or what it does? Emmy Award winner for Best Evening Newscast. Welcome back. A showdown with North Korea as the nation is reportedly poised to launch a nuclear test. Keeping an eye on the economy tonight, a $63 million upgrade for the Seneca Sawmill in Northwest Eugene is nearing completion. CEO Todd Payne says demands have shifted from green lumber to dry lumber over the past 10 to 12 years. So the company is upgrading its kilns. That will allow the mill to dry its own lumber using steam heat. And Seneca has also added new technology to scan each individual log. How cool, then it instantly cuts the logs into the most efficient and profitable board possible. Payne says technology is vital to today's saw mills. From tonight's crime tracker, police are still looking for a man involved in a shooting in downtown Eugene last night. Officers tell us two men were seen fighting in the area of 8th and Charnelton around 7.30 p.m. Police arrested 32-year-old Evan Charles Hyatt after witnesses said Hyatt shot a gun in the air. Oregon State Police say the accident happened yesterday afternoon at the South Jetty Park Beach in Bandon. According to the investigation, the 14-year-old Eugene girl was playing on a log in a heavy receding tide when the log rolled on top of her. Officials say after several attempts, bystanders were able to remove her from the log and call for help. She was taken to a nearby hospital where she died from her injuries. It's been five years since former Beavers linebacker Keith Pankey made his last tackle on the field. Now he's putting those skills to the test, chasing and catching those running away from the law. It's a tough task to ask Oregon to take down the fifth ranked Washington at Autzen Stadium tonight, but it marks the first time the Ducks lost to the Huskies since 2003. I think that's the best video you'll see all that's day. That's hilarious. That's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully we can try to match that with um, some pachyderms. Oh, okay. So we'll take a look at those animals. I'll have s'mores all day any day. But that, is, that is so different. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up next on NBC 16 at 630, 13 Republicans senators are now tasked with revamping the House bill that could change health care for millions of Americans. That's next. In downtown Portland today, people commemorated the holiday with what they call the mother of all protests. Well, your parents, your grandparents, and even your great-grandparents might know this name, the Ringling Brothers Circus. Now the greatest show on earth is saying goodbye for one last time.